This is just breaking. This is a, a weird turn, but it's right up your alley. Britney Spears is coming out with a, with a book, The Woman in Me. This poor girl, I just feel like she's been so exploited by her family, by the people around her. She's obviously not well mentally. And mm -hmm. now she's writing a book, which people make millions off of, probably not as much Britney. And she reveals in it apparently because the People Magazine got their hands on it in Daily Mail reporting that she had an abortion when she was dating Justin Timberlake when she found herself pregnant at just 19. She writes, it was a surprise, but for me, it wasn't a tragedy. I love Justin so much. I always expected us to have a family together one day. This would just be much earlier than I'd anticipated. He said, we weren't ready to have a baby in our lives, that we were way too young. I'm sure people will hate me for this, but I agreed not to have the baby. I don't know if that was the right decision. If it had been left up to me alone, I never would have done it. And yet Justin was so sure that he didn't want to be a father. She said, the mm -hmm. abortion was one of the most agonizing things I've ever experienced in my life. They dated back in 1999 to 2002 and both went on to have children with other spouses later. I don't know, to me, like we don't talk about things like that. Like I applaud her for admitting it. It does feel like a personal detail that you know others would have chosen not to share, but I applaud her for revealing it because there are real risks to this sort of carefree, oh yeah, we're gonna have premarital sex and we're gonna you know, have the celebrity lifestyle. Like, and, and if you find yourself pregnant and you're not yet ready to be a mother or a father, these are your choices. You either have mm -hmm. to give birth to a baby you, cho you didn't really wanna have and raise it or potentially give it up, which also is emotionally tough, or you have to, you have to kill your own baby. I mean, whether you're pro-choice or not, you can't argue that killing that, that, that life growing inside of you is killing a baby on its way to becoming a viable baby. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I bravo to her, you know, and I know that she's definitely like mentally unstable right now. Um, but bravo to her for coming forward and um, being so vulnerable in like just saying that this was traumatic and not hiding behind, um, you know, women's rights and women's empowerment. Um, I, I am encouraged that she is coming forward and speaking publicly. And I think this could be a significant point of healing for her. You know, if this truly was a, um, a very traumatic experience, like she said, then, um, hopefully this will be the beginning of that trauma being able to heal in speaking, you know, the words, um, a lot of times victims, we, you know, shove things down for so long and think that we're fine, we're fine. But when we speak it and say, it wasn't fine. That's when healing can start to set in because you're no longer on the defensive. So my hope would be that this is a step toward healing um, for Brittany. You're so right. It, what, and what a change from, yeah, scream, shout your abortion. You know, I'm proud of my abortion. This is somebody who's been one of America's sweethearts saying, I did this thing with one of the most famous men on the planet. And I'm really deeply regretful about the whole experience and how painful it was. Mm -hmm. For her, mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that memoir is going to be quite a bestseller. I don't know. It just, the way it's going for her, I very much worry she's going to wind up like Anna Nicole Smith unless there's some sort of meaningful intervention. You know, she's just, she That's just so seems sad. to be in a downward spiral. Right, exactly. And unlike, um, unlike so many of these people who find themselves in the news in this way, what has she ever done that's like wrong? You know, she, Brittany seems to have mental health problems, but she's not out there hurting anybody. You know, you see like, she ran up to that basketball player and tried to tap him on the back and the security guard punched her in the face. Like, mm. I just feel like so many, she's been punched in the face in so many different ways. And the way she's yeah, living yeah. and the Instagram posts are are just proof of the, the hard knocks she's received. I realize she's a celebrity, she's famous, she's got a bunch of yeah. money, she's got a lot of fans, but it just seems like the real truth of Britney's life has been, it's been a very difficult long haul. Yeah. And she's grown up in the spotlight. You know, she was like the little Disney star and then she was America's sweetheart. And she never had any chance, I, I think, to know who she was outside of being an actress, you know. So I think that um, has got to be so confusing for her coming into her age now and probably realizing, you know, she she never knew who she was. And she made decisions like the abortion to protect her image. And, um, you or know, because and he wanted her to. So 
Right. That's exactly. What she's yeah. And that's something to talk about, right? Like that, that pressure from men that I don't want it. So you kill it. And then you deal with the trauma, you know, that needs to be talked about. Um, and I'm thankful that she, that she is, I think that this could, like I said, I think it could be a starting point for her to really, um, discover who she is outside of who everyone has always wanted her to be and demanded that she be, um, so I'm interested to see in the coming months too, like the new Britney. Hopefully it is. I really hope it's just a, a time of change for her and healing. The shredded lettuce on your favorite burger, the fruit filling in a donut, you may be surprised to learn they don't actually count on those five servings of fruits and vegetables you're supposed to be having each day. Oh no. Or like my eldest thought ketchup, ketchup would count. No, it's a no. Now, I'm not going to nag you about your diet, but I am going to share with you that the Mayo Clinic says if you want to help prevent heart disease, lower blood, your blood pressure, and lower your cholesterol or improve your cholesterol, eat five servings of fruits and veggies every day. This is why I want to introduce you to Field of Greens. Unlike these other substitutes, each fruit and each vegetable in Field of Greens was medically selected by doctors to support your vital organs like heart, lungs, kidneys, and immune system. Field of Green says you will feel better with more energy and you will notice your skin, hair, and nails will look healthier too. If you don't always eat right and exercise, check out Field of Greens. I'm going to get you started with 15% off your first order. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code MK. Promo code MK at fieldofgreens.com, fieldofgreens.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.